Hey guys, last week we talked about Martha and Mary. If you remember correctly, Martha spent time working and working while Mary just spent time at Jesus' feet. Jesus told Martha that he wasn't going to get on to Mary because it's important to spend time with Jesus. This week we're going to talk about how some friends help their other friend get closer to Jesus. But before we begin, let's spend some time in worship. Your broken heart is the power. Yeah, God. 
I love worshiping with you guys. Now, let's talk a little bit about some teams that we know. Maybe you're a fan of the Kentucky Wildcats, or you have an NFL team, or maybe even superheroes. Typically, they have to work together to accomplish a certain goal. Imagine you're in a spaceship, and there's some danger ahead, and you have one person that could be with you, or maybe two. Who would those people be? What would you guys do to help each other get out of that situation or to reach the goal? Think about things that you're good at or things that your friends would be good at that would come together to achieve whatever goal you're trying to reach. Today we're going to read about a man who was unable to walk. He couldn't move or go anywhere. Let's take a moment just to imagine what it would be like to be in this position. In today's world, we have plenty of technology to where people who are Um, have this disability can still get around and do a lot of things. But in this time period, they didn't have that kind of technology. So he pretty much had to rely on people around him to get places and to do certain things. You could say he didn't have much hope. However, his friends around him did not let him stay in that situation. Let's open up our Bibles to Mark chapter 2. If you don't have your Bibles with you, go ahead and pause the video and come back with your Bibles. We're in Mark 2, starting in verse 1. A few days later, when Jesus again entered Capernaum, the people heard that he had come home. They gathered in such large numbers that there was no room left, not even outside the door. And he preached the word to them. Some men came, bringing to him a paralyzed man, carried by four of them. Since they could not get him to Jesus because of the crowd, they made an opening in the roof above Jesus by digging through it and then lowered that the mat the man was laying on. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralyzed man, Son, your sins are forgiven. Our big question today is how can we help each other grow closer to Jesus? Now, in this situation, his friends had to dig a hole in a roof and lower him down in front of Jesus. You probably won't be digging any holes in any roofs anytime soon, but there are still ways that you can help your friends grow closer to Jesus. Maybe by encouraging them or praying for them. You can invite them to church, and I'm sure there's many other ways that you guys can come up with. A man named Paul in the New Testament, he wrote a lot of the books that we read today, and specifically in Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, he states, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. We can show people and push people closer to Jesus by carrying the burdens that they carry together. So, this looks like maybe your friend's family is going through a really rough time and you invite them over to your house so they can stay the night. Or maybe your friend is just um, struggling at school or in sports and you just spend time listening to them. These are all things you can do to carry their burdens or to carry their problems with them. If you think about a really heavy object, If one person tries to carry it, it's incredibly difficult. But if multiple people come together, it seems lighter for each person that's carrying the object, even though the object doesn't get any lighter. Let's think about this. Has anyone ever helped you grow closer to Jesus? It could be a family member or a friend or maybe somebody in the church. What are ways that they helped you grow closer to Jesus? You can mimic or copy those ways that they did to you, and you can do it to your friends. So maybe they prayed for you. Maybe they told you a little bit about Jesus. Maybe they did really kind things for you. These are all ways that you've been helped grow closer to Jesus, and you can use those to help others. Last week, I challenged you guys to spend time with Jesus, and I still challenge you to do that this coming week in reading in your word and praying. But I also want to challenge you guys to help someone else grow closer to Jesus, maybe simply by inviting them to read scripture with you, or maybe by just telling them about the scripture reading that you're doing. Okay, let's spend some time in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you put people in our lives to help us grow closer to you. I pray that each one of us can do what um, we need to to show others um, just how good you are and how great a relationship with you really is, God. We pray for this week and all that is involved. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay, so I'm really excited about this thing we have planned for Wednesday evenings. At 6 o'clock, we're going to do some Zoom calls together. Um, Now, I know Zoom has gotten a little annoying at times, but what we're going to do, I think, will be really fun. Um, We're going to have these booklets here at the church. If anybody in your family wants to come pick them up for you or however you guys want to do that, 
Um, just let us know how we can get them to you. And we're going through them. There's some different things that are involved in these booklets and I'm really, really excited to start working on those. So we'll start that this Wednesday at six o'clock on Zoom and I'll post the code for you guys to get on there and we can um, chat about this. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and before we get off here, we need to go over our Old Testament books of the Bible. So we have our books of the Bible we've been learning and we started off the first week with Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth, 1st and 2nd Samuel, 1st and 2nd Kings, 1st and 2nd Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah, Esther, Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Songs of Solomon, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations, Ezekiel, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, and Amos. This week we're going to add Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, and Habakkuk. Have a great week.